Welcome to my new parts build, the half-scale T800 Terminator Endoskeleton from Agora Models. I am late to the game on this one, and although I signed up for the 12-month option, I do plan on finishing before the end of the year, perhaps by late autumn, early winter, because having one seemingly never-ending build like the Enterprise from Eagle Moss is quite enough. So let's begin with pack 1, stages 1 to 10. With pack 1, we get the chrome eye plate which is metal, the inner eye socket with a brace, the eye parts and the LEDs to light them. The face plate and one of the brackets we don't need yet and can put aside, but we'll start replacing the red eye caps into the chrome orbits. Now take the LEDs and gently push them into place. Take the inner eye socket piece and place the eye into it. Then take the brace and put it over the eye. Before securing in place with two 4mm screws that came with the pack, make sure the eyes can freely move. For stage 2 we get the upper jaw and teeth and right arm components. The main arm component we don't need until a later stage so we can put it aside. The upper teeth for the jaw I'm not going to put in place just yet as I don't like them, they're too plastic looking, I'll mod those before fitting. Take the upper jaw and the eye socket from stage 1 and secure together with two 6mm screws. Unlike the Enterprise build these are not marked so I just go by size. Moving on to the first two pieces on the right arm, join them together, taking note of the notch and the bolt pieces. Make sure to line them up and secure with two 6mm screws. With stage 3, we get a test battery pack and a small circuit board, along with more right arm components. As this kit has been out for some time, Agora have made improvements to it and it's stated here not to use parts 3.12 and 3.13 contained in the main pack, but instead use the additional packet that came with the stage. Take the right arm parts and fit like so, securing with an 8mm screw. Onto the battery pack and remove the cover and insert three AAA batteries and connect to the circuit board. Take the eyes from stage one and connect to the board, turn on the pack to test the LED. Moving on to the first finger, fit the three plastic sleeves onto the connectors. Put a little bit of super glue onto the tip of the finger and push the parts together. Taking the first connector, push it through the second piece of the finger. A little bit of brute force is required here, they don't go in easily. Again, another dab of super glue to fit the end connector, being careful that only a small amount is applied, as the finger joints need to move. For stage 4, we get more components for the right arm. Same way as the previous one, construct a second cylinder. Take the arm rod and attach the rubber washer with a 4mm screw. and insert it into the cylinder. 
but there's a problem. The formal screw head is too small, so the washer just pops off. So to fix that, I'm going to use two spare EM screws from the Enterprise build that have a much wider head and will hold the washer in place. Take the assembly from stage 2 and fit the two plastic grips onto it. Take the arm component and insert a 20mm screw and add the piston on. I'll put a piece of tape over the screw so it won't fall out while working on this section. Now add a second 20mm screw and put the piston in place. Put the socket in place and take the part from stage 2 and fit on top, securing in place with two screws. For stage 5 we get the lower jaw and first ball joint of the body. Connect the two pieces of the ball joint together and secure with two 6mm screws. Insert the socket into place and add the joint. Covering it as shown and then take the cover and place on top, securing with three 6mm screws. This joint will eventually allow the head to be positioned when attached to the body. Stage 6 gives us more teeth for the lower jaw and all that's required is to fit them. However, as I need to mod them first, I will go directly onto stage 7 and I'll come back to this. For stage 7 we get more components for the upper arm and the head motor. Begin by taking the upper arm ring, the black piece and applying a little super glue and attach it to the main piece. Bring back the arm and now fit that piece onto it. Now take the upper arm parts and join together with two mill screws. Take the two motor joint pieces and secure together with two six mill screws. For stage 8, we get the components for the right thumb and right palm. Like the previous finger, join the joints together by placing the plastic sleeves onto the connectors. Push through the joints, again some force required, and super glue the end connector on. Take the palm and note the pin on the finger, align with the palm, securing in place with one 6mm screw. Now take the finger from stage 3 and attach with a connector, super gluing the end connector on. Stage 9 comprises of only two components for the right side of the head. Take the two parts and fit like so, securing in place with two 4mm screws. And that's it for stage 9. Onto the final stage for this pack and we get the inner eye socket and right middle finger. Retrieve the face plate from stage 1 and fit the inner eye sockets in place. They just sit in with two pins for the moment. Moving on to the next finger, then again assemble as before, using the connectors to join the joints and super glue the end connector.
bring back the hand and attach the finger, again with a connector and a dab of super glue to join the end connector. And there ends the first pack of this build, 11 more to go. So far I'm really enjoying it, the parts are all excellent quality other than the teeth, but that will be an easy fix. I'll put up a short mod video when that's done. Other than the rubber washer incident where the screws were too small to hold it in place, the build went very smoothly and I hope you enjoyed it. Until pack 2, hailing frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell too, thank you.